dictionaries and why I love the. The problem with dictionaries is that sometimes they just don't cover it. Some words simply cannot be explored and accurately defined within the neat but so very restricting constraints of these volumes. Take love, for example. Actually, I'm almost inspired to write a love letter, although maybe not quite in a conventional sense. Would read. Dear Oxford, how does an intense feeling of deep affection possibly cover ex the extent of my feelings that must surely be far greater than the depths of the Mariana Trench and range so much further than the Himalayas, let alone somehow be reduced down to that affection? Moreover, what responded? Moreover, my love for her does not nearly relate to my love for football, as you might suggest. <laughs> Dear Collins, this deep and tender feeling of affection for or attachment or devotion to a person that you speak of, is this an exclusion of the feelings of confusion when it seems a romantic interest makes illusion to some kind of sexual fusion that you're unable to come to a conclusion because perhaps it's just an illusion to set by the suffering from delusion? Because in my experience, that is certainly a significant aspect of love. And I'm pretty sure that a feeling of brotherhood isn't quite an appropriate definition for how I love her. Dear Miriam and Webster, you reference a strong affection for another arising out of kinship or personal ties. But where does affliction fit into affection? And what when feelings become so confusing that you don't know up from down, and you've forgotten what right way up means, putting your love on top is not nearly as easy as they say when I can say. Because like a cigarette to the smoker, love can be malicious, and we all know it's a sure thing that Paul Miguel is in deep and uh, <laughs> we all know it's a sure thing that Paul Miguel is in danger of emotional cancer, just waiting for the prime time to adorn his heart with a twisted and cruel love. But like all addictions, there is almost always worse out there. What about all the cocaines and heroines that ought to act a heroine, but instead play with hearts and never ever leave a hero again? However, not only life, but love too is like a box of chocolates. Just as it can lead to an unhappy experience, it also has a capacity to set you free on gumpy and adventures that span entire oceans. But, let's be frank, what is love really? A giant, great, intangible force. Certainly nothing more than a series of extremely complex clinical processes within our own heads. Love, then, is literally an addiction to all these theorems. But surely we do not need a biology textbook to define love. And just as surely there should be no need to rewrite entire dictionaries to define but the one word love, for surely, it would take that many pages to actually <coughs> develop about 5% of the varying kinds of love. Instead, I propose that the definition of love be replaced with her. And let me tell you about her. I didn't fall in love with her. The first time I saw her, I didn't swim. Hell, I don't even remember the first time I saw her. She certainly doesn't cover all aspects of love. But when I say I love her, I know it to be the greatest truth I can muster. She gave me everything. She gave me life. I love my mom. Mm -hmm.